Marist football held its annual spring game on Sunday, April 27th at Tenney Stadium. The day made way for new recruits, current commits, as well as recent graduates to get a look at the Red Foxes following a culmination of 14 spring practices. The red and white teams were decided in a mock draft held three days beforehand. Touchdowns for the red team were delivered by sophomore running back Garrett Clay and freshman wide receiver Demarcus Hall. On the white side, the TDs came from junior wide receiver Joe Trolley and sophomore wide receiver Zach Williams. Coach Parody and players talked about the major areas of focus on the day. Uh, Coach A just wants us to work a lot of technique, hands, um, movement. It's not about like getting the sacks, it's about working the hands so that when it comes to the fall, we can actually like, do the right technique and then get in the sack. I, I would say that um, an opportunity for the guys to have a lot of fun on the field, uh, to culminate everything that we've done from the start of winter conditioning back in January to now. And, uh, you know, we want to see the guys get out and play with some energy, but also have fun in a competitive situation. It's great to have uh, recruits now um, coming to the games. Usually there's some, some don't, but, you know, hope, hopefully they want to come and see the, um, the Marist football tradition keep going on. And, and they're the future, so, you know, hopefully, hopefully they come in fired up just like we are. I believe we had 22 out of our 28 uh, incoming freshmen uh, that were here today and they travel from all over the country. We had people from Georgia, we had people from Florida uh, that came in to see us today. Looking forward, the coaching staff hopes to fill the shoes of last year's seniors, particularly filling the former role of Chucky Looney at starting quarterback. All three guys have made progress and uh, I will give them a, a chart uh, where they stand on the chart, one, two or three coming out of spring ball, but it's just in fact that, just a uh, spring ball chart because when they come back into camp they have another 30 practices before we're going to name our starter and all three of them have done enough good things to throw their name into the hat to say hey I'm a legitimate con uh, contender for this. Sunday's final score came out to 19-13 in favor of the Red. The Red Foxes will open their season Saturday August 30th against Sacred Heart. For the Red Fox Network, I'm Elizabeth Sims.